Hey guys and gals and welcome to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today I'm going to be doing Path of Fire. This episode is called Beast of War. Now we've just recruited two of um, Joko's marshals and we're going to be heading out towards um, Balthazar. So I'm posing as Ibaru um, and charging the, the, the entire army towards Balthazar. Uh, whether that's what's going to be happening here, I do not know, but we will soon find out. So, this is um, the Kodash Bazaar, which is, uh, as many people will know, was in Guild Wars 1. So, quite excited to go back here. I don't expect it to be anything like it used to be. Um, quite frankly, I can't really remember what it looked like. Although this looks very familiar very familiar indeed. Um, I may actually go back after all this and revisit these places in Guild Wars 1 and compare them to Guild Wars 2 just so you guys can see if you didn't play Guild Wars 1 um, what these places look like and, and why I'm like so overly enthusiastic by all these places that we're revisiting. If you imagine I played Guild Wars 1 for, for many 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 years uh, before Guild Wars 2 was even you know a thing before it was even announced um, so very near and dear to me all, all this is why I played Guild Wars 2 because I love Guild Wars 1 so much so there you go um, so we're gonna enter now and um, let's do this Beast of War so that's Joko's finest wretched looking group still they're about to stand shoulder to shoulder with us on the battlefield so a little respect <laughs> oh commander the awakened troops are here but no sign of balthazar yet and there's kralkatoric which means we're not too late oh i should wow. check in with our awakened allies before balthazar arrives kaz coming up let's hope this is the last time Commander. Oh, wait. I got us into this mess over Sahothan, but you can get us out of it. Thinking back, I now know what Cormier meant. Undo this wrong. The means are in your grasp. You should have it. No. Sohothan is yours. The only thing that matters is stopping Balthazar. When he sees you're not dead, he'll turn his full fury on you and no one else. He won't expect you to have it, which makes this our best hope. I'm honored, Tribune. I'll bring it back in one piece. Yes, you will. <laughs> Commander, I hesitate to mention, but according to the order, there are three other entrances to the bazaar in addition to this main gate. Joko's marshals have dispatched soldiers to each location, but they themselves have chosen to remain here. If Balthazar shows up at any of those other gates, the Awakened won't stand a chance without leadership. Three out of four chance that Balthazar could just waltz into town. Seems awful risky. I agree. You three should coordinate the armies at each gate. I'll stay here since the marshals have already accepted my leadership. Works for me. Good luck to you, Commander. Good luck to us all. Surely this can't be the end. Surely not. No, I refuse to accept that. But I did think when I saw the, the video of Balthazar giving the power back to Sahothin, or, you know, giving it its, its flame back. I did think to myself, hmm, is that sword going to be the key to destroying Balthazar because basically it's his magic that's using it, so maybe it is the key to actually destroying him. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Um, right, so then... I'm an elementalist, I'm not cut out for freaking melee attacks. Archon, the Awakened are assembled and await your orders. The Forged will be here soon. Troop Marshal, focus your troops on the Forged Infantry. 
Marshal Aronko's Mounted Corps will disrupt their snipers. Marshal Ecolo. Where, Marshal? Where is your unit? There, on the front line. Our ranks have shrunk as my worms have been sacrificed for the greater good. <laughs> but a single properly trained Janundu can wreak more havoc Can't than a hundred of Ogun's worthless worm-eating grunts. Then you target the Elite Forged and keep them off our backs as best you can. Archon! Forge scouts on the ridge! Stand ready! The forge Awaken! Here, Take your positions! In Joko's name, let's give Balthasar a proper desert welcome. Marshals, you have your orders. Go! King Joko accepts nothing Death less to the than forged. victory! Okay. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Raw, whatever this does. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Look at that! Ah! Oh, that was epic! Do it again, do it again! I want this sword. Can I have this? I don't even know what I'm hitting at this point. I'm just swinging my sword around. <laughs> Wait. Why wasn't. Um. Oh, what's his name? I'm too. I'm so, oh, sorry. I'm too flabbergasted. Ah. Oh. Why can't I remember his name? Why wasn't the char dude who I can't remember his name for some reason? Why wasn't he ever this powerful? Ritlock. What's this Ritlock? Okay, I'm better now. Now I've remembered his name. I can't even see what the hell's going on. I'm just hitting things. Although, what the hell is that? I want one of them as a mount. Rawr! Six feet tall. This sword is epic. Holy crap! Oh, that is... Is that Balthazar up there? Oh god. I don't know what that did. Look at that! <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Yeah, that's Balthazar up there. I can't target it. And so is the Scion. So that's what he was building in the uh, the Glint Slayer instance. That's oh wow. That's a shield generator down. Oh wow, there's more. Oh, and a boss. Screw you, bitch. Oh wow, invulnerable, of course. Bra! I will kill you all! Yeah. Time to die. No, time to die. Oh, can I please have this sword? It is so overpowered. Hold the line here. I'm going after Balthazar. Okay. Right. Quicksand. 
Commander! Not now, Kaimi. Dragon Lab. Still doing research on the in Kesho. I can't understand what you're saying. Sadizi said balance Elder Dragon. Timey? Timey? Uh, why do I get a feeling that's something important? Ah. Ah. Oh god. Krogtorik, where is it? I want to see him. Brand did a here. Looks like we're pretty goddamn close. Rid of all these shields and then oh bollocks wrong button. Oh well. Come on. Guess this shield will take that wall down so I can get through. Okay, kill this dude. Okay. Onward. Guess we need a raptor. Commander! The exalted... The gods... What just happened? Why did it get quiet? Tiny, are you still there? The exalted the gods. 
What's she trying to tell me? I feel like she's trying to tell me something really, really, really important. Ow, that's annoying. Oh, I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Why do I get the feeling that something really disastrous is going to happen? The exalted are the gods? Maybe? Surely not. There's more than... I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you're trying to tell me. Oh, God. That way. I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that really hurt. Ah. Jesus Christ almighty. Right. Stop! Oh, my God. <laughs> unfair. Stop killing me. There we go, right. Heal up. Oh, damn. Screw you. Okay. Where are we going? This way. You choose my spring. close. Just die. Okay. Where do I have to get? Uh... Wait. Is that 
Oh, okay. I think that's him. And Balthazar's draining his power. Somehow. Or firing at him. One or the other. I don't know what he's doing. Ah, oh, but stop! Oh, God. This is getting, like, really intense. Oh my god! Seriously? I'm trying to help you, dickhead. Wow, they really don't want to die, do they? Ah, oh, come on, get up! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Soon as I get up, I'm back down again. I don't know what that does. Do it. Oh, great. Wonderful. Oh, God, where am I? I guess I'm going to need a springer to get up there. I know I shouldn't really have to kill these and I don't have to kill them, but I want to. Because, screw you! And you, back off. So, uh, kind of, technically, I don't have to actually. There we go. That's that one. Really? Okay. You want my up? Come on, Jerry. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, come on, really? I really have to take all these out. Probably not, no. That's machines. Oh no, that's his machine. Oh God. Can't get through. Ah, oh, I've really got to take all them out. Yeah.
This looks like a death. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Down we go. Where are we running from? Fuck's sake. Ah! This would have been so much easier with Nyx here. <laughs> Oh well, there you go. Five hundred. Okay. Really? God's sake! Come on, up we go. Where do you lot come from? One has to wonder, plot hole, a little bit, but how on earth did that machine get up here? I mean, it's pretty damn clunky, and we've had to use mounts like springers and stuff to get up here. Yeah, here it is. But anyway, I'm sure it has some sort of epic jumping ability. God, here we go. from that thing. You took advantage of Gwent's absence to escape the domain of the lost. But your resurrection is over. Ah. Uh. No more running, Balthazar. Face me. I can't even see what the hell I'm supposed to be attacking. That's what that is. Guy is so strong.
Okay, I can't unleash Sir Hothin. It's it's kind of bugged. Which is kind of awkward, but there you go. Really? There we go. I had to die. Go! Damn thing. I didn't want to dodge into that. That's really going to help me, is it? No! Ah, oh, screw off. Son. Stop fearing me, you fucking bell end. Ah.
another round, me thinks. Oh, oh! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. God, I didn't realize there were more. Oh god. I mean, why you didn't open with that, I'll never know, but there you go. <laughs> ah! Oh, why is this... Oh, did I click the wrong button? God damn it. Arena Net, please fix that, please. Please, please. I'm gonna have to die just so that. There we go. Stopping in that. Help! I don't have long. There. Stay with me. Yeah, that's it. It won't be long now. Oh, I think Procatoric just helped me. Looks like Procatoric. 
Yorick isn't going to sit this one out. Yeah, go crab Torek. No, don't attack me. Ah. Uh. Man. So close. Two. One percent. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yee boy! Whoa. Your machine's down. You failed. You're going to fight. Do you think this is over? The scion is still mine. The dragon is near death. You will not keep me from my destiny! Oh, to kill a guard. Oh, oh God! So Literally! Oh, no! Stands I'm nigh invincible! Against the God of War! Born with nothing but a soul! Oh, boy. Damn it. How many hits can he take? 99%. Oh, God. Then I guess we're not finished here. Maureen. Let's keep it that way. Stay close. Let's coordinate our attacks. I mean, I can't stand on the other side of him there. I have no idea what these things do.
Leave my dragon alone. Oh, they heal me. God, this has taken so long. <laughs> Balthazar, come here, you bellend. Come on. Come to me. Ouch. Orin, now. Okay, I get it. You have to get into position. I don't get that bit, but okay. Maybe I need to get to Aureen. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, now he's getting mad, I think. Do this. 
Where are you going? Oh my god, what am I doing? You've got to protect her. You've got to break the chains from Aureen, and then you do your special move with her. Ah, oh, shit! The only place that's safe is under Aureen's protection, basically. Shit! Maybe not even there. God. That's got to burn. Generator. God damn. So much shit everywhere. I can't see what's going on. Oh God. Shield back up. Feel the shield thing. That's it. That's down. Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. Eat 
need that shithead. Hat, that's what you are. Melandry! The train will be on! Grunt! Whoa! I blew his arm off. Oh! boy I'm not sure whether that was a good thing or not Maureen oh 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 hello I don't understand what just happened. Commander, are you okay? Where's Balthazar? Dead. Balthazar was determined to kill an elder dragon, and we stopped him. The world is safe for now. Is Orin okay? She saved my life. And then she ran off. Probably not safe to stay here. We should meet up back in Amnu to discuss what to do next. See you back in Amnu. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of chests to open, but. So, I don't. Well, that's obviously not the end then. So, even though Balthazar is. dead? Maybe? Oh no. I think he's dead. 
I hope he's dead. I've got a mail. Um. Yeah, although he we we just killed him. I mean, with great difficulty. That was uh, <laughs> a trying battle. I mean, I suppose it would have gone a bit smoother if I knew what to do to begin with. So obviously, I'm finding my feet with this. So I, I can come back later. Um, I'll come back later with Nyx and we'll go through this. Hopefully, get all the bonus achievements and everything. Um, loving Sahothin. It's like my favourite weapon ever, just because it's just totally overpowered. So that's great. It's really cool. Um. What the f has just happened? We destroyed Balthazar's machine. That really pissed Balthazar off. Aureen broke loose from somewhere. I don't know whether Aureen was in the machine or what. I'm not sure. Aureen came, saved our asses, helped us defeat Balthazar. Then it seemed she seemed to absorb Balthazar's power, maybe, because as he dispersed and became that blue sort of energy. It then started flowing into Aureen and also into Kralkatorik. Kralkatorik then promptly pissed off. I don't know whether that's his way of saying, Yeah, thanks, bye, I won't kill you today, maybe tomorrow. You know, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe he's just absorbed enough power, enough magic, that he's going to go back to sleep. I don't know as of yet, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um... I'm concerned for Aureen. I want to know where my where my baby's gone. Um, so uh, yeah, that's my. I don't know what my primary concern is, finding out what Kralkatorik's doing or where Aureen's gone. Uh, ah, and is Balthazar dead? I mean, yes, in body he is dead, but what about in in spirit? You know, I'm not quite sure. So this is all very like ah. Oh, Everything. So many questions. I need answers. So, um, I'm uh, small victory epilogue. Okay. That sounds that sounds quite ending-ish. So, okay. Yeah, been a long one. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and do the small victory. Um, I'm going to keep the keep the camera going, actually, uh, but I will just cut to when we actually get there, just uh, just so you guys can can see what this is all about, whether this is the end or not. A sun spear in public. Commander, an with hey, Timey, what are you Timey. doing? I decided to take a break from the lab and get back out in the field. I'm here to give you guys a hand and hopefully poke some stuff. Of course, I'm sure old Flunt and his flunky squad are probably combing through my dragon lab as we speak. Tiny. Anyway, Jory and I hitched a ride with Captain Keel and some trade envoys in her slow, floaty airship. This place really needs an Asura gate. Timey. Balthazar's dead. I heard! Congratulations! So what do we call you now? Dragon Slayer or God Stomper or what? Timey, focus. When Balthazar died, Kralkatorik yeah, absorbed okay. most of his freed energy. Kralkatorik's even stronger and more dangerous than ever. Oh boy, that could seriously accelerate the Elder Dragon imbalance. I should run some worst case hypotheticals right away. You're lucky I'm here. And good thing I've got everything I need right here in Mobile Lab Scruffy 2.0. <laughs> Excuse me, Commander. Chief Counselor Amon requests your presence inside for a small celebration to honor your victory. Sounds like someone's got to go take a bow. Thank you. She's waiting for you now in the town square, sir. Everyone is. Eh, no rest for the heroic. Timey, I'll go and say a quick hello to the counselor. Then we can meet on the docks. I'll catch you up on everything there. You got it, God Stomper. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn. King Joko. Okay. Out the last of Balthazar. A high commander. We heard the great news about Balthazar. I hope you don't mind my arranging this little celebration of your victory. It's an impressive gathering, Counselor. But my crew and I really must rest. Of course, I'm certain killing gods must be exhausting work. But I can't in good conscience let Amnoon's heroes leave until you've all been fed, fawned over, and properly fed it. Perhaps just for a moment. <laughs> Grand Vizier, 
This is the Commander, the hero who led the Awakened Troops to their stunning victory over Balthazar. What? No! Archon Ibaru led the Awakened. I spoke with him personally. I don't know this Archon, Grand Vizier, but I assure you that I'm the one to whom you entrusted your benevolent leader's armies. When the truth about this victory is told to King Joko, I promise your name will come up as well. Oh no. Oh no. Excuse me, I, I, I must go. Now. <laughs> That's odd and a bit worrisome. Udumishi may be a servile little weasel, but he moves in the highest echelons of Joko's government. But no, I won't let dark thoughts of that Lich King ruin this celebration. Today is about you, your companions, and your glorious victory. Actually, Counselor, I need to tell you the truth about what happened at Kodash. No, no, no. Save your honesty for another day. It's been too long since this city, since these people have had anything to celebrate, or heroes to embrace. They need this. They need you. In fact, citizens of Amnu, raise your glasses in toast to our heroes who delivered us from Balthazar and restored peace to our city. Yes, Commander. Those who owe you their lives want to hear all about your momentous victory. Or, if you'd rather take a few moments to relax, mingle, and enjoy the moment first, you can take the stage whenever you're ready. All the gods I've always liked Balthazar least. As soon as I'm finished Maybe with this speech, me. thank you for encouraging anyway, them. <laughs> We've got to gather everyone up and find Orin. <sighs> it's embarrassing to think the Dragon's Watch has been reduced to dragon babysitting. <laughs> you saw what happened when Balthazar died. Now we've got to go deal with an enraged, unpredictable Elder Dragon. All due respect, Commander. That's all I've wanted to do from the start. Well, you're about to get your wish. I just have to figure out what I should tell these people first. Any advice? What did Kanak say? I haven't spoken to him yet. Why? I just wanted to know which one of us you came to first. Seriously? Well, I think you have to tell them the truth. That the gods have abandoned them? That killing Balthazar backfired, and now there's a riled-up crystal dragon somewhere on the horizon? Listen, if Kralkatorik shows his big scaly snout here, it'd be nice if these people were ready for it. But then, maybe what these people really need is a brief moment of hope and happiness, before they go back to living every day in fear. <laughs> You've already talked to Kazmir, haven't you? Sorry, Tribune. I'm not saying. I've never seen oh, an actual hero times. I am not a grouchy cactus man. It's all nor am I wrong. a giant top. Tell me about it. They closed the casino for this little soiree, so I can't collect for my wager on you until tomorrow. Which means I'm stuck in this haven for giddy, singing, dancing humans for at least one more day. We Silvari are not, by and large, a giddy folk. We'll be out of here soon enough. Really? Unless I misheard, don't you have a speaking engagement first? Believe me, I considered just sneaking out. But I'm convinced Counselor Iman would just hunt me down. Might I suggest, when you do speak, that you avoid giving them the whole frightful truth while they're in such a party mood. On the other hand, I would also be wary of painting too rosy a picture. No reason to encourage their delusions of safety. We want them to stop this frivolous behavior and return to their senses when the morning comes. 
Just keep it vague. Nothing to get people too worked up either way. You just don't want them to close the casino again tomorrow. <laughs> In my defense, it was a substantial wager. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll tell them. I just want to get it over with, so we can turn our attention back to Aurin and Kralkatorik. Then remember, vague. You think before you guys pack up and head home? Oh, I doubt you remember me, but I hope my daughter grows up to be just like Commander, good. We've got to get back out there and find Aurene. And figure out what to do about Kralkatorik. We just have to make a graceful exit from this celebration. Uh, by the way, you're not considering telling these people everything that's happened, are you? I don't know yet. Please. I've spent a lot of time around these people. I'm not sure that they could handle the truth about the gods or the Elder Dragons. Not after all they've been through. Can't we just give them one day? I suppose it is true that the most immediate threat is gone. Then let them keep singing and dancing and laughing. For today. Whatever tomorrow brings, we'll face it then. Commander, the crowd is getting restless. It's time to take this stage. We owe you our lives. Him? Mommy, is that the hero? People of Amnu, please open your hearts and prick up your ears for the warrior who stood toe to toe with a wrathful god. And how? <sighs> Today, there's reason to celebrate for the citizens of Amnoon, Alona, and the world. For today, peace has returned to this land. For too long, Balthazar and his army of forged horrors have cast a dark cloud over the desert, a darkness that threatened to consume us all. He betrayed not only his fellow gods, but all of you who revered him. But a short while ago, on the steps of the Kodash Bazaar, a tiny band of mortals stood up to this betrayer god, and they put an end to his plans. Yes. Thank you. And who loves you? But Balthazar's death also stirred the elder dragon, Kralkatorik. It circled overhead, attacking the desert just like it did Ascalon ten years ago. When the smoke cleared, we saw it disappear over the horizon. But the immediate threat is averted. Balthazar is dead. His forged army defeated, meaning tranquility in the desert. At least, for now. I can't hear you! So by all means, celebrate. Enjoy this moment. For as of now, the world belongs to us. Not gods, not dragons, not awakened or forged or branded. To us, Elonians. Tyrians, Canthans. The world is changing. We, all of us, are the ones who are changing it. And woe to any who would stand in our way. So, a toast. Many challenges lie ahead. But may every battle lead to victory. Every victory to celebration. Thank you. You're my hero. <laughs> oh, we love you! Such an inspiring speech. I'm just brimming with optimism about what good things tomorrow might bring. Chief Counselor, you and I should talk sometime before I leave. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Now that you've convinced them the world is in absolutely no danger, why not join us outside? So we can figure out how to keep it from exploding into a million pieces. What's next? 
I filled Timey in on everything that happened with Balthazar, Kralkatorik, and Aureen. First of all, about my killing Balthazar. You did what you had to do to save Aureen and yourself. And if it weren't for you, Commander, none of those people at that party would be alive right now. That's rather faint praise. Well, first thing we have to do is find Aureen. First thing is to hunt down Kralka Torek. Neither of those will help until we find out how to replace Elder Dragons. And, as usual, we'll probably end up having to protect all those innocent idiots who don't know how to stay out of harm's way. <laughs> thinking it. So I'll just come out and say it. Should we try one more time to get all of Dragon's Watch together? After all this time, do you even know where everyone is? Well, one <laughs> of them is right here. Jory! Kaz, thank the gods you're okay. Kanak told me what happened with Balthazar. I was so afraid I'd never get to see you again. To tell you that... I, I am so sorry about the way we left things. I know. I know. Me too. I hate to interrupt, but did anybody feel that? Feel what? Oh dear. Tell me this is just normal desert stuff. Uh... And so it begins. Fuck! Oh god, he's moving again. On Joko. Oh, that's it. Oh, surely that's not all. Oh no! <laughs> Don't make me wait. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Damn, son. Damn. Oh wow. Okay. So, uh, we can expect to see a big change in the maps uh, for the living world that will be coming. Ah, oh, so he's moved. He's just flown over this sort of area and through some sort of... Where's he gone? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he's heading back north. Back to this area. Where's he going? Ah, maybe he's going into the Deldramore front. It kind of make it would make sense, really, or going to that sort of area, going just Causeway. Um. Oh God. But then there was that image of Aureen as well. Um. I'm gonna have to play that back to try and figure out. Just kind of see in the background that it's it looked as if he was inside some sort of building. So I'm not quite sure where. She is. I almost said he, but she is. Maybe she was just behind us. I don't know, but she's grown. She's bigger now. She's not a she's not a baby anymore. 
Or an infant. She's ah. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh. So now we've got to deal with Krautoric. We've kind of cut a kind of got to convert and uh, we're trying to get Dragon's Watch back together. I mean, that's basically we've got Marjorie back which kind of made me a little bit emotional. I nearly cried. The only the, you know what would have set me off is if they just hugged each other. That would have been like, oh, that's so beautiful. And then it was just completely like, boom, WTF moment. Oh, he flies over the front. He flies away. Kind of that sort of thing. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, oh, man. Ah, oh, I kind of wait for the for the living world now. I mean, I've got plenty of stuff I can be doing before then. So much places to explore. Um, you know, hero points to get and everything. Um, mastery points, whatnot. Achievements galore. So I've got loads to do. An expansion full of stuff to do. But I will just say, if anyone from ArenaNet is watching, don't sit on it too long. I mean, I know there is, I mean, there's probably a ton of achievements that I've, I've not even scratched the surface of. You know, there's still some from Heart of Thorns I haven't done. They're the horrible ones, the adventures that I just don't want to do. So, you know, keep that in mind that there are achievements that people won't want to do. You know, look, I've, I've barely scratched the surface of any of these. I've just literally gone from, through the story and just been doing exploration in the interim. But now the story's done, I should probably go through... Wow, that's a lot of mastery points. I should probably go through and work on um, getting the bonus achievements in the in each of the instances, replaying those. Um, just wow. Just wow. Um, uh, there, you go, there you go. That's, that's that. <laughs> oh, damn. Amazing job, Arena Net. Absolutely. 10 out of 10 for the biggest anti climb. No, not anti climax. Climax, not anti. Just climax. <laughs> that was like. Oh! What's coming next? Oh my god. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, we're going to find Aureen. That is my top priority. Finding Aureen. We can just follow the big ass trail of, of corruption left by Kraukatorik. To, to find Krogtarik, so I just want to find Aureen again and just let, oh, damn, just damn, fantastic, absolutely fantastic, big, big thumbs up, congratulations to Aureen Net for an amazing, absolutely amazing expansion, it absolutely pisses all over Heart of Thorns and I would say it pisses all over anything that Arena Net have ever released. The only thing that has ever come close uh, to to this sort of level of exciting content, uh, I would say is Living World Season 1, which was really exciting for me. I found that amazing. So uh, keep on going at this pace and just, just imagine, you know, this has kind of revitalized and revived my love for this game. Ah. Yes. Yes. Just. Yes. That. That. And so much more. Just like, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Amazing. Um, thanks, guys, for, for watching. This has probably been an epically long video. Um, probably <laughs> verging on like two hours long. But damn. Thanks guys for watching, uh, watching my videos. I know um, through a lot, a lot of them I've been sat here in complete silence. That's not a bad thing. I've been sat here taking everything in, just learning everything that's been thrown at me. And, and just, ah, oh, mate, fantastic. Ah, oh. um, I, I'm going to spend some time on this, you know. I'm actually going to release more videos on this. Um, I didn't really release stuff on Heart of Thorns other than like the Living World chapters. I didn't release anything 
just purely because there was nothing really to tell, you know, there's nothing, I don't know how Wooden Potatoes has done it, how he's carried on releasing video after video after video, I mean he has got a severe case of verbal diarrhea, so that's probably why he's got a lot to say, so, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put a lot more focus into doing videos now, you know, in my spare time as much as I possibly can, um, because this has excited me, this, uh, yeah, I'm happy, I'm really happy, um, thanks guys for watching, I really love you all with affections unspeakable, goodbye.